With me here at UTMC is Dr. Paul Riga, an expert in emergency medicine. And today we're talking about something people have been doing a lot this week, shoveling snow. Now, what kinds of snow shoveling issues did you see in the emergency room over the years? Over the years, well, uh, people with heart attacks, people who are hypothermic because they've been out there, you know, not uh, well prepared to shovel snow, back aches, uh, knee aches. They just don't know how to do it. They're kind of like weekend warriors. Mm -hmm. uh, when the first snow hits, they think they can do it like they did last year. And uh, the, you know, time uh, passes by and these people are, uh, are, are, are subject or at risk for uh, problems. And those problems could be lethal. What should people be aware of before they go out and shovel? What kinds of questions should they ask themselves about their health and fitness? Well, the first thing is, is that, you know, you know how you know before the winter comes, you go and get your car winter winterized. I think pay, people should do the same thing. They should go to their doctors and, and check them out. Am I okay? Can I go ahead and shovel snow if I, you know, if I if I have to? Uh, and people don't do that. Okay, they assume that they're going to be able, they'll be fine, and there are certain things that they need to do. Uh, the first thing is try to find somebody who is younger than you, healthier than you, and have that person shovel the snow. But if you can't do that, uh, then there are ways of you know, minimizing your risk. Okay, okay. tell number us one. those ways. First of, all, um, first of all, dress appropriately. Okay, number one, dress appropriately. Dress in layers. Number two, uh, avoid smoking and having uh, coffee before you go out uh, because what what happens with that is that that tends to vasoconstrict you and that could cause you to have uh, greater heart demand uh, because of the smoking as because of the, uh, the coffee the caffeine uh, and then on top of that then you exercise okay so that puts you at greater risk uh, if you have met multiple medical problems uh, you probably shouldn't be doing that in the first place uh, if you are going out uh, you know, there's a, there's a technique of shoveling snow, using your legs as opposed to using your back, uh, shoveling uh, with small doses of snow in the shovel as opposed to a, a huge, uh, like 16 pounds or 20 pounds of snow. Uh, so you minimize that, uh, that, that whole problem. They make shovels now that have sort of a handle on top. Are those helpful too? You're not bending over quite as much. You've got a little more leverage. Sure. That's good. Uh, the, that's good from the standpoint of the muscular aspects of it. You're the, are the, um, uh, the joints of your body and all that. I look at it from the standpoint of the heart uh, because we've had a lot of tragedies of people going out there and shoveling snow, not realizing how snow, how heavy snow is, especially wet snow like we, what we've had uh, this past, these past couple of days. And they exert themselves. And according to one statistic, you can possibly in an hour shovel up to a ton of snow without realizing it, okay? Really? Because of 16 pounds every, you know, every couple of seconds, every couple of seconds. And before you know it, uh, you're clutching your chest, which is another thing. You, uh, bring, a, bring a cell phone out with you. So if you do run into problems, you can call 911 right away, as opposed okay. to lying in the snowbank for a day. If you would, run down some of the classic symptoms of heart attacks. Classical heart symptoms? Uh, First of all, nothing's classical. They vary a lot. Yeah, okay. Exactly. But, but classically, uh, it's, it's going to be that crushing chest pain, uh, getting uh, sweaty, diaphoretic, having difficulty breathing, all those things. Say, listen, stop, you know, call for help. Okay. Thank you so much. Some good advice on snow shoveling from Dr. Paul Riga here at UTMC, and that is tonight's Talk Back.